Hello family, welcome and welcome back to the channel. I hope you are all doing great. In today's video, I'm back with another vlog, productive days in the life. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I make my mandazi. I'm also going to be preparing and cooking some beans over here. As usual, you all know me, I don't make my beans in a gas stove. I'm going to be doing lots and lots of cleaning. If you just found my channel today, kindly make sure you subscribe to my channel to support me to create more videos like this. And check out my other videos in my channel. Check out the playlist that I created in my channel. If you need any motivation, any inspiration, I know you are going to love a bunch of videos in there. If you just found my channel today, I'm on Google Sharon and I love doing vlogs, lots of cleaning videos, I love doing DIY air tutorials and DIY beauty recipes, a little bit of cleaning and organization here and there, and a little bit of cooking. Kindly make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss my new uploads. Let's get straight to today's seed. I'm going to start today's video by preparing some yellow beans. I bought some beans over here and these beans are really really messy. So I'm going to take my time to prepare them just to separate them from the bad ones and the stones in it. All that stuff you do for your beans at home you guys. <laughs> So it's been really a while since I made some yellow beans and today I just decided to buy these beans and then I'm going to prepare them thoroughly as I'm doing in the video and then as usual for my beans I always soak my beans so that I don't waste my energy or my charcoal here. <laughs> yeah. And after some time, here we go again. My beans are now almost ready. So here we go. I'm going to add some water to my basin over there. And then I'm going to give these beans a good, good wash. So since Baba Mulan has been struggling with the secret flux, I actually thought of buying yellow beans today. We usually eat the other beans the white beans with the black patches but the yellow beans are not so bad for him too and actually i love love yellow beans yeah <laughs> so today i'm going to be making my yellow beans so i'm going to wash my beans at least four times you just saw the first water it's very very messy you guys so i'm going to take my time because these beans were really really dusty so here we go my beans are ready i'll set them aside for the night so moving on today i'm also going to be preparing some mandazi dough uh, if you've been watching me for a while i love it when i have some mandazi in my fridge so the last batch that i made it was over so it's time i made some mandazi yeah so i'm just going to add some water to my jug over there and then i'm going to warm it lukewarm and right here we go i have my ex mandazi flour over here i'm going to add it over here to my basin so as usual i love ex mandazi actually baba mulan loves buying the flour itself so i'm going to go in with my sugar and my salt and then i'm going to go in with my warm water bit by bit as i mix it up and knead my dough if you want a tutorial for mandazi check out my food channel i have lots and lots of tutorials over there but i know you're going to love if you're a beginner at making mandazi so after some time my dough is almost ready i'm just going to add some oil to it and then i'm going to go ahead and knead my oil inside to that dough if you're new to my channel actually mandazi is just a recipe breakfast recipe from kenya that to make 
Yeah, it's actually very very popular in Africa, Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda and all that. I'm going to cover up my doll thoroughly, the polythene and then a lid and then I'll leave it to settle for the night. So right here the next day here I am in the morning. I just woke up a while ago and I'm going to start preparing my mandarito again. I'll give it a good need a quick knit i'm sorry and then i'm going to go ahead and divide my dough into pieces as shown in the video after that i'm going to go ahead and spread some oil to my board over there and then all i'm going to do is to spread the dough with my hand first and then i'm going to go in with my rolling pin and then i'm going to just roll out my dough as shown in the video and spread it into a rectangle and then so when i'm making my mandazi dough i actually don't like cutting my mandazi so so thin it makes your mandazi really really turn out really bad and it turns out a little bit thin i know you understand what i mean by that so all i'm going to do is to cut them into those tiny squares or rectangles or triangles whatever you want to call them i'm going to cut them into shapes yeah with my knife over there and then i'll set them to my tray beside me i'm going to set my tray with my roman dazi aside after cutting them if you've been watching me you all know that i love ginger tea I peeled some ginger and washed it. I'm going to go ahead and crush it in my usual tool there. So I'm going to be multitasking today actually. I'm going to be preparing some tea. I'm going to add my water to my pot there and then I'm going to go in with my milk, my crushed ginger and some black tea in there to the pot and then I'm going to transfer my pot to the other side of my stove as shown in the video after firing my stove. So I'll let the tea cook over there. So moving on to this other side of the stove, I'm going to add some oil to my curry over there as shown in the video and then I'm going to preheat my oil until it's hot. So I'm going to go in with my spoon just to check on my oil, the temperature of my oil. If my wooden spoon removes tiny bubbles like you've seen right there, that means my oil is ready. I'm then going to go ahead and add my raw mandazi and then I'll just cook my mandazi. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to fry my mandazi. I think that's the right word for it. So right over here when the mandazi is cooking, my tea is almost ready. And here we go. I'm going to check on it so that it doesn't spill. I don't want any mess right here in the morning. My tea is now ready. After a while, I'm going to go ahead and add it to my flask over there. So I can keep it warm. So here we go again, multitasking again. The first side of my mandazi is now ready over here. As you can see, they have a golden brown color over here. And they are popping up and they look so good, you guys. So I'm just going to let the other side of my mandazi cook again as shown in the video. I'm going to be using my knife over there to just give them a turn. I love doing that. <laughs> yeah the knife does it better yeah so after a while my mandazi is ready over here and um, look at that you guys oh my god i love love the color of this mandazi oh look at that <laughs> i'm going to set my mandazi aside so the excess oil can rain on them so like I said before, if you want a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make mandazi at home, check out my other channel, my food channel. I know you're going to love the videos in there. So moving on, I'm going to be serving my tea. Actually, when I was making the mandazi, I just had to serve the others the tea so they can start eating <laughs> while i was finishing making my mandazi as you've seen the dough was a little more so i had to take my time to finish that off camera it's been a while and i gave milan tea and milan doesn't eat without like supervision or something like that so here we go again he hasn't even finished half of his tea <laughs> 
since I made the first batch of the mandazi until I finished like the last batch of the mandazi, not even half of the cup is gone. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> so right here we go. I'm going to be supervising Milan while I have my tea over here just to make sure he eats. Yeah. If you just found my channel today, welcome to my channel. I love doing DIY hairstyles, DIY beauty recipes. I also do a little bit of cooking here and there. And I love doing cleaning videos and normal day vlogs. So after a while, I'm done with my breakfast over here. I'm now going to go ahead and just clean up my countertop over there. For that, as usual, I'm going to be using water in my spray bottle there and a kitchen towel. And as you can see over here, my beans are ready. I'm not going to throw the water that I use to soak my beans. If you've been watching my videos, that water was clean yesterday. <laughs> so the beans is what made it yellow because you're making yellow beans. Yeah, I know you understand what I mean by that. So moving on, I'm going to go ahead and prepare my charcoal stove over here. For my charcoal stove, I usually light my charcoal stove with kerosene. Yeah, <laughs> it works better for me that way. I don't have to struggle to take a plate and then I, I don't know. <laughs> I use some energy to make it light. Yeah, I know you understand what I mean by that. So after a while, my charcoal stove is ready over here. I'm going to add my bean spot over there and let it cook as I continue the rest of my day with the other chores. So if you've been watching me, you know I don't make my givery or beans in a gas stove. <laughs> so moving on over here it's still morning and i need to clear my dishes so yesterday night and i have a ton of them today and especially now the weather is so cold i mean you start freezing before you touch the water itself <laughs> oh my god so here we go i'm going to go in with my scoring powder i'm going to remove my dish rack over there and set it aside and then i'm just going to add my scoring powder over there the other scoring powder as usual and then i'm going to go ahead i bought a tiny brush for a half a dollar it helps me a lot i'm going to give that space a scrub as shown in the video and then i'm going to go ahead and add some water to it just to wet it a little bit and then i'm going to go in with my kitchen towel and then i'm just going to give that space a good good wipe just to make sure that it's super clean if you've been watching my vlogs i love to clean the space each and every time i do it every day when i'm clearing my dishes i'm not going to lie to you guys that i scrub it every day at times i just go in with my kitchen towel and then i wipe it up just to make sure it's clean so as usual i'm not going to forget the tile behind where i put my dish rack or my organizer and then that space is now clean i'm going to go ahead and return my organizer over there so for today i'm not going to be cleaning my organizer so you guys today i'm not going to lie to you i'm not going to be disassembling my dish rack over here because i did it like two days ago so it's still clean i'm just going to go ahead and give it a good wipe with my kitchen towel over there to make sure that i get rid of anything especially the sides yeah so after that i'm just going to go ahead and start clearing my dishes over there i'm going to be starting with the cups and the tumblers or the glasses whatever you want to call them i'm going to go ahead and just wash them up as you do at home you guys so as usual for my dishes i always use regular soap regular bath soap in my language we call it toyo i know i've said that like a thousand times in my videos but you know i don't get tired of saying that <laughs> so after that i'm just going to rinse them up and then i'm going to set them aside on my organizer there so they can drip the water out of them yeah 
so after that i'm just going to go ahead and just finish up on this as shown in the video so i'll leave you to watch me for a little bit and i'll be right back Like I've said in my other videos, for my dishes, I love to arrange them like not in accordance to size, large versus small, yeah, so that I can get them to drip the water in them. I mean, like you arrange them when there is a larger one, then you put a smaller one on top, and then a larger one on top, like that, like that, until you finish that up. So I always do the same with the tiny balls over there. I just arrange them like that so they can get to dry up. I think that's the right word for it. Especially over here, you can't sun dry the dishes. You know that. <laughs> you only do that in the village. So you have to think of something to get your dishes to dry. If you don't like to towel dry them. Hmm, it's not a word, you guys. <laughs> and yes, I'm going to repeat the process with my organizers. I mean my teams. Yeah, my storage teams. I do the same with them. Like was a small like that and like that. Just to get them to dry. So after that, I'm just going to finish up over here. I'll show you the video. I will be touch me again for a little while. Right
so after some time here i am again i'm going to be clearing my pots now and my pots are really really messy today you guys i've been a little bit i don't know i don't know how to say lazy <laughs> so here we go so for my pots as usual i always use steel and sunlight bar soap yeah sunlight bar soap works really really magic in these silver pots so if you've been watching me you all know i love my pots when they're super shiny and looking good and super clean it just changes my whole mood when i'm cooking and you all know i love to cook <laughs> yeah so no matter how lazy i am i'll just find a way to clean my pots yeah even if they're so messy <laughs> So here we go, my pots are looking good you guys. I'm just going to take my time to clean my pots. And I hope you try sunlight bar soap. If you're using silver pots like me, it's magic. Yeah, I can just say that. So you guys, I'll leave you to watch me for just a little bit and I'll be right back. After some time, here we go, I'm done with the pots. I'm now going to be clearing that area over there where I put my, how do I call this? <laughs> my kitchen things. I don't know how to say it, but as you see, I'm going to remove all that stuff over there. And then I'm going to give that space a scrub. And then I'm going to wipe it up just to make sure that it's clean yeah and then i'm going to go ahead and just clean all that stuff up my plunger and all that and then one more thing that i love to do is to clean that tile area over there actually for today i'm not going to be working on that deco on that window because i just like clean that place yesterday so i'm not going to be repeating that again so right here we go i didn't do this yesterday so that's why i just cleaned that space i removed those storage containers that i have over there and then i had to clean them up and clean that space too and then i'm going to finish up by cleaning my steel wool and then i'm going to add it to that thingy that i cut over there just to use it for another day i know you all do that or at least you did it in the village <laughs> yeah and then as usual i'm going to finish up with my kitchen towels i'm going to clean my kitchen towels as usual and then i'm just going to make sure that i dry them outside so moving on as usual i'm not going to be forgetting the lower cabinets over there especially the one that is close to my sink area it gets really really messy yeah especially when i work with the pots and clean the pots so i always have to clean the lower cabinets i just wipe the outside of the lower cabinets yeah that is all and then i'm going to go ahead and clean the sink and finish up on that so we've closed the dishes and the sink area and now we're moving on to the stove so for the stove i'm just going to use my wet kitchen towel over there to just clean it up and make sure that i get rid of anything sticking on it or something like that <laughs> and then i'm going to go ahead and clean the tile area too if you've been watching me you know i love to do that i actually do it every day 
you know i'm used to it <laughs> i don't like that i'm cooking today and then i see purchase of food on that tile area food for yesterday i don't really like that you guys so i'm finished with the stuff over here i'm now going to go ahead and prepare some foods that i bought yesterday so right here i have these bananas over here that i bought they're a little messy yeah so i'm going to go ahead and just use my sponge to scrub them a little bit to get rid of any dust and anything sticking on it you know the bananas seem to be a little bit sticky they have something sticky on them i don't like that so i love to clean them thoroughly after that here we go i'm going to go ahead and set them aside and then moving on i'm going to be cleaning some oranges that i bought yesterday too so for the oranges i'm going to use my tiny brush over there to get rid of those dark spots that always appear on oranges i know you've seen them yeah the brush get rid of them really really quick and nice and clean yeah except for some that are too hard to clean so here we go my fruits are now okay i'll set them aside so moving on here we go i'm going to be moving to the living room as usual i'm going to start with the couch i'm just going to use my rug over there to clean the couch yeah i know you know what i mean by that and then i'm going to go ahead and just spread the couch as shown in the video and then i'm going to add my throw pillows over there i'm just going to make them a little neat especially today that milan is at home yeah all it does is jump on my pillows and make them shapeless <laughs> but you know i understand because i'm a mother yeah although at times he gets on my nerves but you know he has to play and enjoy his childhood so here we go again i'm going to be just making that part of my coach need as usual i'm going to add my throw blanket over there to that part of my coach yeah <laughs> and then i'm going to be working with this one sitter on the far end over here i'll just use my rug again yeah to get rid of anything the dust and everything on the couch and then i'm going to transfer milan to that couch so i can take care of this couch he loves to sit on so as usual i'm going to be spreading this Kikoi over here that I love so much. Yeah. And then to this coach, I'm going to use my rug again to get rid of anything on it. To undust it. Yeah, something like that. And then I'm just going to fluff the pillows up and then I'm going to hide my throw pillows over there. So now that I'm done with the coach, coaches yeah or sofas i'm going to go ahead and now start working with the entertainment area over here i'm going to be cleaning my deco over here it's been a few days since i did this i don't know why this place gets really really dusty very quick but i never understand because i clean it like two to three days and then the other day you clean it again you find it dusty <laughs> so here we go so for the decor today i'm not going to be using any water on them i'm actually just going to go in with my dry towel and then i'm going to dust them off and then i'll just clean that part too with the dry towel like i said before i'm not going to be using my spray bottle over here on the lower cabinets yeah yeah i think that's the right word for it and then i'm going to go ahead and just return everything to its rightful place yes so if you want any inspiration on this diy decor over here check out the video i posted like a few months ago i'm going to link it down so you can have a close look at this diy decor that i made so you can also make your space beautiful at 
a low cost or something like that you can check them out so you can see anything that you can remake at home if you are into diy yeah so right here i'm just going to be working with this far hand over here i'm going to remove everything over here and then i'll wipe them up to make sure they're clean yeah <laughs> and you guys i love love this face especially that diy flower over there that red diy flower and yes i actually found these things they they are glasses i don't know if they are wine glasses but they are really really curvy and looking good you guys and i love them i'm thinking of like spray painting them but i've not made my mind yet but i'll do that yeah so moving on right here i'm going to be working with the tv so moving on i'm going to be working with the back of the tv as you've seen over there it's very very dusty so for the back of the tv i'm going to need two towels i'm going to need a dry towel and then i'm going to need a wet towel too yeah this place is very messy i'm not going to lie to you guys that i clean that space every day no <laughs> that's why i'm going to need two towels and my spray bottle so i'm going to finish up on that space over there and then moving on i'm just going to use my spray bottle to clean that upper part of my tv stand over there and my towel i'm going to wipe that up and yes i'm going to wipe the screen of the tv when milan is at home i usually find fingerprints everywhere on the tv <laughs> even if i wipe it today tomorrow the fingerprints are there after 20 minutes the fingerprints are there so <laughs> it's a normal thing if you're a mother so i'm not going to forget the edges of the tv stand as usual i'm going to wipe them just to get rid of any dust and everything so i love to do this because i really really loved this white tv stand and you have to keep it clean or it will build up so so much dust that will be so hard to handle and you'll have to keep the color white <laughs> yeah I'm not done with the entertainment area. Moving on, I'm not going to be cleaning my carpet. From my carpet or my rug over there, I'm just going to go in with my broom and sweep that place up. I'm sorry for the camera angle. I thought the camera angle was right. But when I'm editing this, I find that it's something else. So I'm sorry for that. Yeah, it it's just all about sweeping that place it's nothing else so moving on after that i'm just going to go ahead and sweep up that floor area and then i'm going to collect everything on the floor as shown in the video okay so after that i'm going to go ahead and add some water in my bucket over there and then i'm going to go in with my powder soap for my powder soap as usual i'm going to be using aerial powder soap and then i'm going to go ahead and just mop that area up as shown in the video yes again here we go my camera angle is not right again i'm sorry about that you guys but I hope you can see a little. <laughs> All I'm doing is mopping over here. You can see me, right? <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this place up. I'll show you the video. Yeah. And so for this, as usual, I'm going to go ahead and do it in two rounds. Yeah. And one thing that I'm not going to be forgetting is that edge of the tile i usually say it every day when i do these logs these cleaning logs i don't like that edge of the tile and wall dirty <laughs> yeah especially if you're using a broom yeah you have to check on it i'm going to go ahead and just clean that space up i show in the video yeah focus on the little spaces they tend to build a lot of dust so here we go i'm done with the living room i'm going to go ahead and now draw my curtains since i use electricity to shoot my videos i'm not going to lie to you that when i wake up if i want to clean i'm going to go ahead and draw my curtains first 
no that is not going to work for me yeah this space is really really dark if you want to shoot a video when you draw the curtains it just doesn't work you see that <laughs> so moving on i'm going to go ahead and move to the bedroom yeah so for the bedroom i'm not going to do so much on it today as you know everyone is at home today and i don't want to like focus my camera where i should not <laughs> or something like that so i'm going to go ahead and just clean my organizer there for this i'm going to be using the water in my spray bottle so inside my spray bottle is it's just a mixture of water and some fabric softener in there if you are cleaning the kitchen you can add vinegar in it or some drops of lemon juice but i prefer to make it simple water fabric softener yeah to give it a little bit smell so i'm going to go ahead and just clean that space up i'm going to clean my deco like you've seen over there and then i'm going to go ahead and just clean the tvs as shown in the video and then moving on i'm going to go ahead and now clean the floors yeah i'm sorry about this i also swept this part <laughs> i swept the bedroom but I don't know i don't think i captured that with my camera but i swept it like a super tool so i'm going to go ahead and just mop this face up as shown in the video and as you've seen i'm going to go in with two rounds the first round and then the second round if you're new here check out my other videos on my channel my cleaning motivation videos my kitchen deep clean that i recently uploaded like all else deep clean that i uploaded like a few months ago too and check out my morning and evening routine videos i know you're going to love those videos yeah so i'm not done with the bedroom so moving on i'm going to go in and clean the tiniest tiniest space in my apartment or something like that the kitchen <laughs> i mean shooting it is just trouble so here we go i'm going to go ahead and focus on the tile areas again the edges of the tile and then the floor as usual and we're done with the kitchen already <laughs> so moving on here we are i'm in the balcony now my camera angle is not right again <laughs> so what i'm doing over here you guys is just cleaning the balcony i'm just mopping it and as you can see behind me over there my beans is cooking so moving on i'm not done with the balcony i'm going to close the door and then i'm going to move on to the last space i'm going to go ahead and now clean the bathroom so for the bathroom i have multi-purpose bathroom if you've been watching my videos you all know that i'm going to just first clear that space over there the tiny corner and then today i actually have some clothes to clear so i'm not going to dwell on the clothes actually i just shot a little bit part of it i didn't want this video to be so long so i already washed the clothes the clothes <laughs> i don't think that i'm nasty you guys that i'm adding that i'm just adding the clothes in the water and then i'm squeezing them out <laughs> no 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 i already like i don't know how to say this i hand washed them thoroughly <laughs> so here we go i'm just going to rinse them up as in the video so for the rinsing i'm just doing it three times as usual if you've been watching me and i bought a fabric softener from a neighbor that i really really love you guys the fabric softener smells fantastic i love it so i'm going to go ahead and just clean these clothes up as shown in the video 
and yes i'm doing it inside the tiny bathroom <laughs> my bathroom is tiny you guys i don't like it but i love to survive so here we go i'm done with the clothes and these clothes most of them are from milan milan steel piece and it's giving me a lot of work but i'll have to work on it after that i'm going to finish up by cleaning my pegs if you've been watching me i can't clean my clothes without cleaning my pegs and i know you're wondering why is she wearing gloves no the weather is too cold <laughs> the weather is too cold you guys i shot this video when the weather was very very cold i mean if you just touch that water with your bare hand oh god you will be freezing <laughs> literally freezing so i'm going to stick on the gloves for a little while so here we go i'm not done with the bathroom i'm actually going to upload a video on how to on how i keep my tiny bathroom clean so all i did there was just mop it as shown in the video so moving on it's now in the evening i now have to prepare dinner so right here here we go i'm going to be preparing a chapati dough hmm. today i'm into those those and those and those so here we go i'm going to add my flour over there to my silver bowl and then i'm going to add some salt to it so for my chapati dough i'm going to be using warm water i'll just add warm water bit by bit as shown in the video and then i'm going to knead my dough so as usual the kneading of the dough is very very messy but i'll have to do it <laughs> yeah so right here my chapati dough is almost ready i'm going to add my oil to it and then i'm just going to knead the oil in yeah so here we go i'm going to be preaching to you again if you want to check out my recipes step by step tutorials chapati recipes dinner recipe whatever you want check out my food channel you're going to love lots and lots of videos in there i'm going to divide my dough into tiny balls and then i'm just going to make the balls a little bit much neater i actually can't remember how many balls i made i can't remember how many roundels i made but i feel like the 15 to 16 yeah depending on the amount of flour that i used so moving on i'm going to go ahead and now start preparing my chapati dough so i actually didn't let this dough rest because i want to prepare these chapatis soft layered chapatis so it's a process for me so for me when i'm making my layered chapatis i usually just work with the dough immediately like this and then i let it rest so all i'm going to do here is to spread my dough until it's large on my board i'm going to like i don't know estimate it with the board yeah something like that and then all i'm going to do is to spread a mixture of some oil cooking oil and some coriander chopped coriander that's what i use and then all i'm going to do is to roll the dough into those tiny balls those tiny cute beautiful balls that you can see over there i actually have a step-by-step -step tutorial on this you guys on my food channel i'm sorry about that part of the video you guys i actually turned off my camera accidentally and i didn't record that <laughs> i thought i was recording it but when i'm editing this i find out that that part is not there so moving on all i'm going to be doing here is to rest my dough for like 30 minutes or something like that and then i'm going to go ahead and just dust my chapati board over here the chapati board is the round one <laughs> and then i'm going to go ahead and just spread my dough you see 
my rolling pin to make a cute circular shape if you're from kenya i know you know how to make chapatis except these chapatis that i'm making today that layered chapatis and they need a little bit of work and i actually wanted coriander chapatis yeah <laughs> or something like that so the green thingy that you can see on these chapatis is just chopped coriander so here we go i'm going to repeat the process with another dough so all i'm going to be doing is multitasking i'm going to be spreading the dough as i cook the chapati that is how it works <laughs> for me i love to do that because i cook alone or something like that so i have to spread the dough and then cook at the same time so since i shown you how to like spread the dough to make it circular i'm not going to repeat that because i'm going to i'm sorry i'm going to be moving my camera here and there and that is not good for me i don't like that the angles won't be the same yeah so my chapatis are ready over there all i did was to cook them to golden brown both sides i spread the oil over there and that is done so i'll set the chapatis aside so moving on i'm going to be preparing my beans now my beans are ready and it's now at night or in the evening <laughs> i don't know how to say that right so here we go i'm going to add in my onions and then i'm going to fry them to golden brown and then i'm going to go in with my tomatoes i'm going to add them in cover them so they can soften and then here we go i'm going to go in with my cooked beans so if you've been watching my food channel i actually love to make my beans in another way i usually separate the remaining soup from the beans itself it gives it a little bit richer taste yeah so after i had my tomato mixture there after it softens i had the beans when they dry and then i give them a mix i season them with salt and any other thing that you want to add in and then i cover them for a few minutes so they can have that taste or something like that so they can absorb the seasoning yeah <laughs> and then after that i mix them up and then i go in with the soup and then i add just my water and then i just bring it to a boil and yes i'm not going to forget to adjust my salt since i adjusted some water check out my cleaning motivation playlist and my other videos in my channel i know you're going to love a bunch of videos in there so here we go my beans are ready i'm going to be serving my beans with my chapatis over here and my chapatis are looking good look at that oh and my beans oh god i love it and i love 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 yellow beans you guys look at that oh my god i'm editing this and i'm craving for it <laughs> so as you can see my chapatis are looking good you guys i actually recently did a video on how to make this layered chapatis on my food channel check it out it's my recent chapati recipe i know you're going to love it except for that i added garlic so the next day my leftover chapatis are supposed to be kept and my mandazis are supposed to be kept in the fridge too so i bought these cut tiny transparent buckets they are like half a dollar and something and some cents <laughs> yeah so i love them for my mandazis so i have like three of them yeah i've used them in another video that i did a while ago so i'm just going to add my mandazis in those tiny baskets no buckets yeah and then i'm going to add my chapatis my leftover chapatis to another tin 
and then I'll cover them well and then right here as you've seen that is how my beans look oh my god look at how thick it is huh uh -huh. <laughs> are you craving for it yet <laughs> so right here we go I'm going to go ahead and just add them to my teams over here and as you sure you all know me I have to wipe my teams before I use them <laughs> okay I'm going to add my beans over here my leftover beans so I can keep it and then here we go i'm going to add my packed food to the fridge uh, i actually cleaned the fridge like a few days ago so in today's video i'm not going to be doing fridge cleaning and organization and all that stuff i'm just going to be doing a part of it the organization part of it you know <laughs> and the meal prep part of it yeah so here we go i'm going to add in my food and then today for the outside of the fridge i'm going to go in with a dry kitchen towel and then i'm just going to wipe it up to get rid of any fingerprints and all that stuff so you don't have to use water in your fridge all the time water 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 no at times you just go in with the outside of the fridge you just go in with a dry kitchen towel and shine it up that's all i always do at times and here we go i'm going to repeat the process with the microwave over there <laughs> i'm sorry about my camera angle again here yeah, you guys plus the lighting is not very good but you can see what i do i'm doing here you guys right <laughs> all i'm doing is cleaning that area and wiping up the microwave plus the inside yeah and i'm using a dry kitchen towel like i've said before yeah so another thing that i'm not going to forget is that dispenser so for the dispenser i'm going to use a wet kitchen towel and then i'll just wipe it up and then i'm now going to be adding the fruits that i washed yesterday to my fruit basket there i love that basket and this time i decided to add a towel to it yeah and there we go my oranges are looking good look at that we came to the end of today's vlog thank you so much for your support so far i'm really grateful you guys kindly make sure you subscribe to my channel to support me to create more videos like this and check out my other videos in my channel see you in my next video bye